very good afternoon to all of you so today we'll be taking up the use of acetylene in organic synthesis acetylene is a fascinating molecule having significant practical importance and uh, also future potential uh, the versatile synthetic transformations of acetylene they involve the functionalization of this carbon triple bond carbon applications of acetylene in the synthesis of drugs and pharmaceuticals for use in paints in adhesives packaging bioactive molecules all these have been making much progress of late and how has these uh, all this been achieved well by means of the different reaction classes of acetylenes so what are these reaction classes we'll just be taking them up uh, in a very concise way these are different like uh, dimerization vinylation carbonylation ethylation so all these reactions lead to important classes of compounds having diverse applications as we move from this we'll be doing before retrosynthesis we'll be dealing with uh, some aspects one or two important aspects just to highlight the significance of the use of acetylenes one of them is the vinylation reaction as we can see acetylene together with rx it can be roh it can be rsh it can be acetoxy so uh, in the presence of a catalyst it can be of course at the same time also an acid uh, halide an acid compound it le leads to this vinyl derivative the vinyl derivative addition reaction in other words so one such application i have mentioned here leading to the formation of trimethoxy benzyl vinyl ether now this is trimethoxy benzyl alcohol with acetylene giving rise to this compound that is 3 4 5 trimethoxy benzyl vinyl ether in about 85% yield this is a very good reaction under these reaction conditions one can read up more and at the same time works of e winter uh, felt can also be read he was the former president of german chemical society so uh, he has great contribution towards development of this uh, type of an chemistry the as uh, chemistry of acetylenes and its uh, functionalization of the compounds this group to form various compounds now another reaction another important reaction is the ethylation reaction this we have studied in uh, great detail earlier sonogashira and the heck reaction the reference i have quoted here of 2018 you can read this up this is about the copper free sonogashira coupling since copper is environmentally uh, hazardous and of course uh, there is the double heck reaction also mentioned we've done this earlier these reactions we've done earlier prior to this in other videos uh, and the other reaction that has been mentioned is the fevorsky reaction the reaction which uh, you are familiar with the reaction of carbonyl compounds with acetylene giving rise to this alcohol by virtue of nucleophilic addition of carbonyl compounds carbon positive carbon positive oxygen negative then this carbon negative of course coming here so we get this derivative is formed with the carbon we get this type of a product on this and this alcohol is formed this 
Pavlovsky reaction is being used for the synthesis of this uh, anesthetic ethchlorovinol in 80% yield by using this carbonyl compound. This carbonyl compound together with the presence in the presence of uh, this uh, acetylene derivative, lithium ion, now gives rise to ethchlorovinol. You can read up this work by Schmidt et al. published in Russian Journal of Organic Chemistry in the year 2013. I am referring to these works so that one can be motivated and at the same time those of you who wish to take up further studies on this besides the uh, your uh, degree courses other ex for other exams you can read up this work and be motivated and also know the other applications the other varied applications of acetylene now coming to how these molecules they can be synthesized that is uh, these acetylenic compounds how they can be synthesized using retrosynthesis so this is our target molecule now this target molecule has one two three four five six six carbons now these six carbons how we can build them up so let's see first how we can turn them into simpler fragments or simpler parts so this is sp hybridized carbon this is sp3 hybridized and here we go about carbon carbon disconnection we will get breaking these six so this will be now four carbon at this end one two three four plus since this will be carbon negative this will be carbon positive carbon positive together with x negative will give us this type of a synthetic equivalent and this we have derived here negative with h will give us again the acetylene portion this can further be fragmented or disconnected to give us this that is this acetylene so these one two three four carbons broken further into two and here two ch3 ch2 x now going about the synthesis we have to think whether we can connect it backwards that is synthesize it what we have broken this molecule when we have broken it one two three four five six broken into two alkyl fragments alkyl halides and one acetylene so let's try and synthesize it using our chemistry that is this is the acetylene together with this alkyl halide in the presence of this base the base will remove this h positive this will be carbon negative this carbon negative and this is carbon positive alkyl halide so this carbon positive will be attacked by this carbon negative that is nucleophilic substitution giving rise to this derivative this four carbon system can further be extended how because there is now another hydrogen at this end which can be removed in the presence of a base so this will be carbon negative this again carbon positive and we will get our target molecule so this is the entire synthesis of this compound having six carbons and a triple bond let's move on to the next retrosynthesis after this which is the retrosynthesis of this alcohol now see this alcohol is not having any unsaturation this is a completely saturated alcohol one butanol so looking at it one thinks oh where is the use of acetylene where does the triple bond come from but we do use acetylene very practically in this type of a reaction first of all let's see the disconnection now the oh this is a primary alcohol and by uh, uh, you know primary alcohol so we can make them by a number of hydration reactions so we write here hydration 
But what type of a hydration? Well, while going back, so hydroboration oxidation because that is anti Markovnikov. Otherwise, we would be getting a secondary alcohol in the usual hydration reactions. So, in order to get a primary alcohol, we think backwards. So, hydroboration oxidation. OH removed from here, OH removed, H from here, and we will be getting a double bond elimination, dehydration. So, hydration while going backwards. So, hydroboration oxidation. So, again, four carbons there and four carbons here because all we've done is removed H2O, OH from here, and H from here, alpha beta elimination. So, now this gives rise to this alkene and this alkene, we know we can convert it into alkyne. So, and while going back, we'll be doing reduction. So, we'll write here reduction, H. The reaction we'll be doing backwards while we are synthesizing this. So, we get a triple bond here, alkyne. This can then be disconnected to this acetylene and once again, alkyl halide. So, two carbon here and two carbon here total of four carbons. Let's see how we build it up. That is using the last reaction becoming the first and the first reactions becoming the last step. Last step first and first step last. So acetylene two carbon in the presence of a base and an alkyl halide will give rise to this increase of the alkyl chain or stepping up the series common reaction. So, two carbon here and two carbon here. We get this four carbon alkyl. One, two, three, four. And this then by using Lindlar catalyst because we don't want to reduce these two. We don't want a saturated compound here. So, what do we do? We reduce it to this alkene because we have to undertake further addition. Elimination here, addition here, dehydration at this step and hydration at this step. So, partial reduction that is using Lindla catalyst, that is hydrogen palladium uh, uh, catalyst, poison barium sulfate, Lindla catalyst. So, we get this type of a four carbon alkene. And now at this end, getting an OH here and an H here, that is hydroboration oxidation, we derive our target molecule. So, this was the target molecule disconnected by hydroboration oxidation. OH and H, we get a double bond, further oxidized a triple bond. Then it is disconnected, again carbon-carbon disconnection. So, we get two carbons for this acetylene and two for this alkyl halide. And then we can synthesize it using acetylene. So, this is the complete synthesis acetylene in the presence of a base and alkyl halide to give us this stepped up alkyne. And this then reduced partial reduction to give us this alkene, which on hydration, anti Markovnikov will give us this alcohol that is our target molecule. Now, the next reaction or rather the, the next uh, retrosynthesis is of this molecule. This is this compound of Livon. This uh, is a tranquilizer which was marketed by Bayer et al. It has been phased out uh, after, it was in uh, 2013 or so, it was marketed. It has now been, since then, has it has been phased out. And see how it is synthesized. A simple disconnection, again, carbon-carbon disconnection. So we get a carbon positive. The carbon negative, of course, leading to acetylene. The carbon positive, hydrogen leaves as H positive. So we get carbon double bond oxygen. So this plus this, these are the two synthetic equivalents. These synthetic equivalents, acetylene together with this carbonyl compound, one, two, three, four, huh? this will lead to this target molecule. So, this is the synthesis of Oblivon. Now, coming to the retrosynthesis of this 
long chain acid containing 14 carbons 14 carbons we can see 14 carbons because so that we don't want to miss out on any carbon while uh, uh, synthesizing so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so this is an ester as we can see and we are familiar as to how we disconnect esters we can connect them by esterification. So this, this is the disconnection we've dealt with earlier. That is the Rx, the Rx disconnection. This Rx disconnection will give rise to, because this will be O negative, this will be C positive, C positive with an OH, this acid. It can be an acid or it can be, instead of OH, it can be a Cl also. So these are, again, this is two carbon and this O negative with an H positive will give us this alcohol. So while going back, this will be the last step. Remember, the first step in disconnection becomes the last step while trying to synthesize. So this will be the last step, reaction of an alcohol with an acid giving rise to this target molecule that is this unsaturated ester. Now, can this be further simplified? Yes, this having 12 carbons, this can be disconnected. But how can we disconnect if we recollect this double bond can again by functional group interconversion be converted into this triple bond? This ene, this is an ine. So, functional group interconversion. And while going back, we'll be reducing it. So, we write reduction. So, once this has been performed, then we disconnect as usual this acetylene, this CH3C triple bond CH. Here we get propyne, the three carbon moiety, plus, of course, this is C negative, so this will be C positive, C positive with Br negative, this type of a synthetic equivalent. And we know this can be derived from an alcohol. So the ultimate starting reagent will be this diol. This diol, this reaction backwards means the synthesis can then be used to build up this nine carbon can be used to build up this four, 14 carbon unsaturated ester. How? See, this is the diol converted halogen by to this compound this then on reacting with this alkyne converted to this 9 plus 3 12 carbon alcohol having this triple bond this then being reduced to the double bond this then being esterified together with this because this is 12 carbon this is a 2 carbon acid changing it into this ester so i hope you've been able to follow these uh, simple steps so far and able to recollect all we did earlier about the use of this molecule acetylene and its synthetic applications in the field of organic chemistry. So good day to all of you. Keep healthy, keep safe.